Yo, welcome back to the TV show. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart, both books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today I'm going to be reviewing The Sheep Farmer's Daughter by Elizabeth Moon. This is book number one in her Deeds of Paxinarian trilogy. We've got... um. The other books here, we've got the, all three books in the trilogy. All of them with great Todd Lockwood covers. Each one of them, the by published by Bain Books, you know, you put these on the shelf. The spines all match. So if you want a good trilogy to collect, this is it. Um, you know, amongst the other probably 500 trilogies you've collected. This one will look really nice next to all of them because it all matches. And so we give Bane Books the shout-out for that, you know. So we've reviewed the cover, Todd Lockwood cover. Where is it? It's over here. Yes. That's the book we're reviewing. Book number one. Now, if you'd rather just get the book, the trilogy, in an, in an omnibus edition, it also comes in this lovely-looking omnibus, omnibus edition with a great cover by Keith Parkinson. And so, you know, you can get this... All three books, or you can get all three books in one. Whichever you like. I got them both. So anyway, let's set those over here. And let's just talk about book number one, The Sheep Farmer's Daughter. It came out in 1998. No, that's wrong. It came out in 1988. A long time ago. I was a youngster when this came out, and I remember reading it back then when it first came out. It had a different cover than this. This is the modern cover by Todd Lockwood. The other cover was cool too, but I don't have a copy of that. Anyway, don't even know why I mentioned it. But this book has been around for a bit of time. In other words, uh, it is about... It's actually, you know, I just reread this. I remember reading it as a youngster. And liking it somewhat. I just reread it and my appreciation for it skyrocketed. This is an actual gem of a fantasy novel. Actual gem. I was really stoked as I read through this. I actually enjoyed this quite a bit more than a lot of the books I've been reading lately. Um, it starts off with Dorthan, who's, uh, Paxinari who's, who's Paxinarian's father. Paxinarian is a young girl who goes off on adventures. Anyway, it starts off with Dorthan getting a sword from a stranger that belongs, that used to belong to his daughter who went off to have adventures. And his daughter became a legend. So that's the prologue, a very, very good prologue. Now, once the prologue is over, we jump to back when his daughter was a young girl of the age of 19 and left the household. And we find out that Dorthan... Her father did not want her to go. In fact, he had promised her to be married to this other guy, to this dude. And it's partly why the girl left, Paxinarian. That's her name, Pax for short. Her name is Paxinarian. They call her Pax for short. Anyway, she was betrothed. She runs away. Her father is mad, remains mad at her her whole life. Until, you know, he gets that sword from the stranger years and years later from his daughter and he knows his daughter has become a legend so we want to see how this plays out we want to see if um when she left as a young girl i mean do we get to see any of reconciliation with her father or any of that in this book or the further books i don't know we'll see anyway i get a feeling that this is a bit of an auto the elizabeth moon if you read the back copy, it says that she um, served in the military herself, was in the Marines. I wonder if this was a little bit of an autobiographical um, book for her in that she has Paxinarian run away from home to join the army. Now, Paxinarian hikes. She just leaves home, hikes 30 miles in a short amount of time to catch the Duke Phelan's recruiting team. Now, the recruiting team is about to leave, but she knows that she's only got a finite amount of time to get there before they leave. So she hustles her ass 30 miles across the landscape to get there. And they're so impressed that she came that far that they're like, yeah, let's sign you up for the, uh, 
sign you up for the army. The, 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 you're be a recruit. And that's where the fun starts. This book has just the detailed minutia of what it would be like to be a trainee in a medieval army, about all the friends and foes that um, Paxinarian makes in her regiment. Um, there's, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, there's four chapters in the beginning that deal with sort of a sexual misconduct um, episode that happens earlier in the book where there's a trial and a fight and things like that. Um, maybe the only time the book really bogs down is during those chapters where Paxinarian is trying to defend herself against accusations and things like that. Or trying to prove accusations and things like that. I'll let you read to figure out which it was. Um, but we get to meet her friends and her foes. We get to see the first time that she... Um, ventures out into the world with this regiment of recruits and sees her first dwarf and elf and the first battle where she's injured and then we get to see the fear in her eyes through the second battle that she fights because she's already knows how horrific battle can be and so the first battle she just kind of went into with a lot of naivete the second battle really scared the shit out of her and i really kind of appreciate how um this book really talks about just the nitty gritty details of everyday life of an army recruit especially in a medieval army it really reminded me of glenn cook's the black company series um but this is just written a little more simplistically without the super stylized writing that glenn cook uses if you want to read something like that like the black company by glenn cook but a little bit more of a palatable read Check this out because it's right up your alley. Um, just the battles that they go through, the humiliation of of when they have to surrender to another army or be captured by another army, or or just the heartbreak of of when she hears about friends that have died on the battlefield. It's like you know that's the thing is you know she doesn't see them die. Um, sometimes she does, but more often than not, she doesn't see them die. She just gets. The report that they're dead or they just don't show up ever again and that's kind of the heartbreak that a lot of military people must feel even in modern day warfare where it's just like you go out on a on a on a mission and um you just sort of count the dudes that come back and sometimes maybe your best friend you never see them you don't know what happened they're just gone just gone i think it's very realistic that way um and the world building itself, the world that Paxinarian travels through, is just so seamlessly and effortlessly layered into the book. I almost didn't notice it, but by the end of the book, I knew everything I needed to know about this landscape and about this world she's traveling through and why they're fighting and who they're fighting and what's going on. And it was just, there was never, there was never any awkward info dumps or exposition scenes it just elizabeth moon laid it out like an expert it was just beautifully done an absolutely delightful coming of age novel with some real grit and grim grimness to it and some real humanity i just like fell in love with this character paxinarian as she ventured forth to become a warrior just with a normal medieval type regiment of soldiers and she starts to gain a little notoriety in the first book but clearly as we learn from the prologue she becomes a legend over the course of the three books and so i'm excited to um, reread the books because i don't remember much of any of it um from when i was younger so uh certainly a superb delight and reread the second time, absolutely a pleasant surprise, um, and I absolutely adored everything about it, and it, it really kept me engaged the whole way. Uh, I just can't rave about it enough. This, I gotta give this, I literally, literally gotta give this a solid 10 out of 10. That's how much I enjoyed it.